what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel um today we're going to be fishing out at twin lakes again i mean it's uh, i have a very select uh very few select ponds i can go to on my lunch break and this is one of the closest ones and i know that there's good fish here but i got a drop shot tied on uh six inch crankbait tied on and the texas rig tied on last time i was here i actually broke off a really good bass on my braid i think i had a weak spot on my braid and it uh, popped my 40 pound braid. And then the bass actually came up out of the water and threw my worm out of its mouth. It was a good one, it was probably three or four pound bass. But yeah, so we're gonna try to fish this body of water, break it down, see if we can get some fish within the next hour. Okay, so we're out here at the lake. First thing I got tied on, I'm gonna give it a try. The old drop shot. See if we can get a bite going. I just know here the bass are a little bit more pressured and maybe the drop shot might might get us a bite or two. We're gonna move around to where I usually fish and get a lot of the majority of my bites. I think the fish just look, it's really the only main structure we have in the pond. So I get a lot of my bites from fishing from this spot right here. Got one on here on the old monster. Looks like a decent one too. Yep. Yeah, there we go. On the old monster. Not a bad one to start the day. Not a bad way to start the day off. Not too bad. So we caught one so far. Wasn't the world's biggest, but definitely a solid one on the old monster again, man. That that thing for me at this pond is just been catching them. That's what I got broken off last week with. That's what I intend on using this today. Go down to work with this old monster. Yep, got one. Yep, a decent one too. Yeah. Not bad. Cookie cutter is what they're looking like though, man. Cookie cutter is what they're looking like. Oh my god, this is the same bass I just caught. This is literally the same bass I just caught. And you know how I know? I created that hole in his mouth right there. This is the same bass I just caught about 10 minutes ago. I pushed that hole in his mouth right over there by that grate. I can't believe that. That is not the same bass bit the same worm, different parts of the lake. That is absolutely crazy. I've never had a bass bite in one location. I walked down maybe 60, 60 yards or so from the grate back there behind me and catch the same fish on the same lure 10 minutes apart. Absolutely crazy. I guess he really likes the old monster. That is absolutely bonkers to me, man. I'm probably 98% sure that's the same bass that I just caught over there off that grate on the same lure. On the exact same lure. I haven't even changed the lure. Same one that he bit on. All I did was pinch off the tip and text, Texas hook or text bows it again a little further down. Walk down the pond. I mean, no more than maybe 50 or 60 yards. And he hit the same lure. Within 10, 15 minutes of, of the last time I hooked him the same fish that is bananas I mean, definitely a first for me on video can't say i've ever done that on video that is nuts 
comment down below have that has that ever happened to you have you have you ever hooked a fish in one location and catch the exact same fish and you're absolutely positive that it was the exact same fish comment down below and let me know because that right there to me is absolutely crazy so that was pretty nuts um gonna continue to walk around the pond here mine's still kind of blown by that man i that that's just that's crazy if i catch him a third time i'm going to play the lottery got one on the jig Ooh, got a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. Hold still. Well, you know that's not the one I caught earlier. He came on the jig. Didn't have my camera rolling, but you know, it is what it is, man. Just turned it off too, because I hadn't gotten a bite in a while. I wanted to save some memory, but came off the bitsy bug, the zoom, zoom crawls the trailer. That makes three for the day. Not too bad of a day, I suppose. Alrighty, so. Caught one on the jig, one on the Texas, well, two on the Texas rig, which I'm pretty sure those two were the same. Oh, there's a fish. Feels like a good one, too, as I was burning it in. Oh, it is a decent one. Oh, wow, whoa. That's a decent one right there, folks. That's always burning it back into me. <laughs> that's just a little bit better one, man. That's that's more of what we're looking for. I was burning it back in and felt that sucker just hammered. A little bitsy bug jig. That's a better quality. That's more of what we're looking for. This is the uh Fourth fish of the day, well, maybe the third. I gotta review the footage on those first two fish because I'm pretty sure those first two fish were the same. A little bit better quality. Uh, through, the, through my Bitsy Bug jig with the zoom crawl down this bank line, a whole bunch of chunk rock further down. It was popping and popping and not getting any hits and then started burning back in and absolutely smoked it. All right, not a bad, not a bad fish at all. Finally starting to get into a few here. Wasn't even sure if I was gonna have a video for you guys today, man. Not a bad fish at all. Day's been kind of slow, but you know, we're getting a few here and there. All right, so that's gonna be the end of the day for me. Uh, pretty awesome lunch break, honestly, uh, especially for this this particular pond here. It's, extremely pressured with fishermen. I mean, there was three other guys here. It's a very small pond. Uh, I mean, the bass are completely beaten senseless with different lures. And I mean, I'm sure they've seen everything twice, but I mean, for, for an hour of fishing, three, possibly four fish, just depending on if that one I caught was the one I caught twice, which is still pretty remarkable in my eyes. Um, not a bad afternoon for an hour of fishing. There's uh, tons of potential uh, in this lake. I've I've heard stories that there's there's eight pounders have been caught out of here. There's big catfish that get caught out of here all the time. I mean, I constantly see lures laying on the ground, hot dogs, catfish bait, stink bait, everything around this pond. So this pond's beaten pretty senseless. So to catch the fish that we did in the time that we did, that's honestly pretty remarkable. So I'll take it. For an hour of fishing, it's awesome. Bitsy Bug definitely came through in the clutch. Uh, the old monster. Old Monster's always an old faithful, honestly, to me. On a Texas rig, 3 8 ounce uh, tungsten weight. But yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Jordan's Fishtails. And uh, yeah, I'll try to keep bringing you some good con content on my lunch breaks. It's really the only time I get to go fishing. So thanks for watching, and I'll, I'll catch you next time.